All right, it is Saturday, March 26th, Manchester, New Hampshire. We got a uh, police employee with vehicle 63441. Was there a victim tonight, sir? So uh, we're facing east, just uh, actually the vehicles are facing east. Didn't see any cause for this gentleman to be stopped. For whatever reason, this uh, Quote, unquote, public official has uh, refused to respond to my question earlier, so maybe service isn't what he's about. Put my camera in my jacket for a moment. Exiting the vehicle now. Got some paperwork in his hand. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? I'm reporting you, too. Uh, my name is Officer Wood. I work for the Manchester Police Department. Okay. And my badge number is 116. 116. Okay. Yep. Was there was there a victim tonight? Can I is ask? Is it any of your concern? Certainly it is. This is a, this is well, a I don't, community here. I don't have time here. to chit chat with you in the middle of the street. I'm going to get back to my job. So I appreciate you checking up on us, and uh, I wish you the best. Well, I, I hope you're safe. Thank I, you. I hope part of your job is to uh, not victimize people that haven't victimized others, and that's a concern of mine. That's why I ask you these questions. So I just wanted to share this video. I captured it about an hour ago. I was out having a bite with my partner, Amanda, and saw this road pirate activity unfold in front of me. Again, I didn't see anyone victimized by the person who was stopped, yet he was given a ransom note um, by this person who identified himself only as Officer Wood. Um, I thought it was noteworthy that Mr. Wood chose to say that he worked for the Manchester Police Department, you know, as instead of saying something like, I work for people in Manchester or something like that, you know, um, despite the, the pretense of justice and service, it was clear to me, and I, I think it's clear to anyone who watches this video that Mr. Wood uh, was not, his actions weren't guided by justice tonight, instead they were merely uh, a shakedown. He told this, he gave this person an, a directive that says, you pay us or else, and, um, you know, so for him to tell me, for Mr. Wood to tell me, like, I don't have time to talk to you, I have to go do my job, you know, uh, really, I think, speaks volumes to the incentives that are built into these police apparatuses not to actually serve people and provide justice and to, you know, come to the aid of people who were victimized, but instead to uh, go after people who engage in actions that cause no victims. Uh, for the uh, desired um, accruing of their wealth or their property through things like civil asset forfeiture, which is just a nice way of dressing up 
the action of theft. Um, but I, I guess I just wanted to share this. Uh, I was, I guess, kind of surprised no one walking by also stopped and uh, at least uh, took an inventory of the situation or maybe started filming themselves. That would have been nice. I did have um, a radio on me at the time, so um, some myself and some friends in the area use these radios, so you know, I, I probably should have called out immediately just to uh, let some folks know that I was uh, stopped and recording that situation, but uh, I knew that if something unfolded, I could have used that and beckoned some help to my position. The camera that I used, if anyone's interested, it's called a Movie Gumball. The company is M-U-V-I, and the model is the Gumball, and it's actually my second Movie Gumball I've had. They're about $120, and I think they're great little cameras. Uh, they clip, they have clip attachments and suction attachments. Uh, the one I have even has a remote, so, for example, I could stick this on a windshield and plug it into the cigarette charger and have it record over itself continuously as I drive. I could, I could uh, operate the camera from the steering wheel if I had this on there, or I could clip this camera onto my person and then have this remote in my pocket to turn it on without drawing attention to the fact that I was turning it on. It also has uh, voice activation, so you could leave it somewhere, and if a certain decibel threshold level is crossed it will turn on so unfortunately it doesn't it doesn't stream uh, that's probably the biggest deficiency but I know most folks have smartphones now and if you do and you haven't already downloaded cell phone one I would encourage you to do that um, it, it both streams your content safely off-site and it helps you create a network that you can uh, turn to and uh, help in times of need so the more we can make uh, people like Mr. Wood and his colleagues who uh, thrive on uh, us versus them mentality, the more we can move away from them and their apparatus and instead uh, move to models where we act out of love and uh, concern for our neighbors, the better off we'll all be. So, till next time, y'all. Peace.